want to talk a little bit about time off and taking time for yourself. And I know as moms and dads and sisters and brothers and friends, it's really hard to say no. It's hard to establish boundaries. And what do I mean by that? You know, sometimes we just got to tell someone, you know what, I really want to help you, but I just can't do it. I need to take some time out to myself. I need to take some time out to fill my cup back up. You know, I always I'd ask, oh, was your cup half empty or half full? My cup is always half full. And then I really try to take the time to make my cup runneth over. I want up to be totally full. I want to feel good. And I think by taking time to yourself, you can improve your physical health. You can improve your emotional health. You can improve your mental health. You can improve your motivation. You can decrease the amount of burnout. I know that when I take a break, I'm a much better doctor. I'm a much better mama. I'm a much better sister. I'm a much better daughter. And I know that that burnout really weighs heavily because I'm, a lot of us, we don't want to say no. But when you start to say no, you become more efficient. You feel better and you can get that optimal life, right? You can do the things that you really want because the better you feel, the more efficient you are, the more you get done and the better your life is. I just got a, a question from Michael and Michael says, I want to go on a vacation, but I'm worried that if I go with my family, that it will be even more stressful than not leaving at all. You know what, Michael? I agree with you and I totally get that. Yes, it is hard to come back from vacation because you have laundry and you have animals and you have a house to clean and then you have to go to work and you have a week's worth or two weeks worth of paperwork that you have to catch up on. But remember, what I just said is if you get better rest and better sleep and drink more water and exercise and your mental health is better and your emotional health is better and your physical health is better, then all of these things will take much less time. And you know what? My mom used to always tell me, Deb, that stuff will be there when you get back. You can deal with it. You can get when you get back. So just try to shut it off. Go enjoy every moment that you have away. And when you come home, you can dive back in, dig deep and do a phenomenal job. And then you will be more efficient and feel better because you've taken a break and you've taken time for yourself. So that's an excellent question, Michael. Thank you very much for asking. I think a lot of people really struggle with that. And I think that we're well, one of the only countries that does that in Europe. They get weeks and weeks off and they shut down their companies and they go and they enjoy themselves and they come back and they take siestas and they, you know, they're up and they're working and they don't work 12 hours of the night like we do here in the United States. And I think that is a really, really super good question. I think you all should th sit down and take a break and really refill your cup so your cup runneth over as well. You know what? We're getting to the end of our time together. So if you would like to email me, you can email me at feelbetter at lakepointwellnesscenter.com. You can go to my website at feelbetterhere.com or you can give me a call at 770-974-5215. We can have a good old fashioned conversation. Until next time, wishing you loads and loads of health and happiness. Bye-bye.